Microsoft just introduced its new AI model, Orca 2, an efficient, super smart language model with 7 or 13 billion parameters. Imagine a language model with the reasoning prowess of giants, but a fraction of the size. Created specifically for research, Orca 2 is excellent at quickly handling tasks in a single go and even outperforms larger models. Let's reveal what it is all about. Orca 2 is Microsoft's latest research project exploring the capabilities of smaller language models, LMs, with 10 billion parameters or less. Keep in mind, it's made specifically for research purposes. This model excels at quickly responding to tasks like summarizing texts, understanding what's being read, solving math problems, and reasoning based on information given by the user. Despite being smaller, it proves that even compact models can be smart with the right training. It's capable of advanced thinking, usually associated with much larger models. Isn't that pretty cool? Microsoft enhanced Orca 2 by improving the Llama 2 base models and utilizing specially created on synthetic data, rather than data collected from real-world sources, to assist researchers working on LMs. Microsoft allows people to access and use the weights, important information, of Orca 2. This sharing is intended to support and encourage further research in this field. Previously thought impossible for artificial intelligence, advanced language models like GPT-4 and Palm have proven their remarkable reasoning abilities. These models can understand difficult questions, explain things, and solve problems that need several steps to figure out. From the research done with Orca 2, a key insight is that different tasks might need different solution strategies. These strategies include extract, generate, which means taking out information and then creating something new from it. For example, reading a story and then writing a summary in your own words. Recall reason generate. In other words, remembering something, thinking about it, and then coming up with new ideas or answers. For instance, recalling a book you read, thinking about the characters and events, and then writing your thoughts on it. Step-by-step -step processing, therefore, is doing things one at a time in a clear order, such as following a recipe by doing each cooking step one after the other. Recall then generate. A simple explanation is remembering something first and then creating or making something new based on that memory. For example, remembering a fun day at the beach and then writing a story about it. And direct answer, which means giving a straightforward response without a lot of extra details. For instance, answering a yes or no question with a clear yes or no. Importantly, what works for a large model like GPT-4 may not be the best for a smaller one. For instance, a smaller model could benefit from breaking a task into steps, while a robust model like GPT-4 can directly tackle complex tasks. Orca 2, especially the 13B model, excels in reasoning tasks. It outperforms models of similar size and can even compete with models 5 to 10 times larger in zero-shot reasoning tasks. Zero-shot reasoning refers to the ability of a model or system to provide accurate and meaningful responses to tasks or questions for which it has not been explicitly trained. In other words, the model can successfully tackle new problems or scenarios without prior examples or specific instructions related to those tasks. The term zero shot implies that the model is making predictions or providing solutions with zero exposure or training on the task at hand. It showcases the model's generalization and adaptability, demonstrating its capacity to apply learned knowledge to unfamiliar situations. This capability is a key indicator of a robust and versatile artificial intelligence system. When the system communicates its message with a sense of caution or carefulness, it leads to a slight improvement in performance. This model is effective for text summarization due to its advanced algorithms, which evaluate and extract essential information. It efficiently summarizes various types of textual data, making it a valuable tool for distilling crucial information from articles, documents, or research papers. When it comes to solving mathematical puzzles, Orca 2 showcases impressive generalization and adaptation capabilities. It demonstrates the ability to solve challenging word problems in elementary school math. Additionally, it performs exceptionally well on comprehension tasks, offering a reliable solution for accurately and efficiently understanding complex textual information. Orca learns by imitating the intricate language models, following the thinking patterns of large foundational models like GPT-4, as indicated in its research paper dated June 19, 2023. 
What makes it intriguing is that, in comparison to larger models such as GPT-4 and Llama 2, Orca 2 provides valuable and cost-effective advantages. This marks a significant advancement in artificial intelligence, especially as it outperforms larger models in challenging tasks, thanks to its smaller, smarter, and more efficient design. The fact that Orca 2 is open source encourages further exploration and collaboration in the development and evaluation of language models. It excels in challenging challenging thinking and communication tasks, surpassing GPT in writing texts that flow naturally and adapting speech patterns to various contexts and audiences, showcasing notable improvements. Orca 2 underwent training using a large dataset, incorporating various approaches like direct answering, extraction and generation, and step-by-step -step reasoning. By learning from a more capable teacher model, it gained the ability to decide when to apply different strategies based on the specific problem. Given that it's trained on synthetic data, Orca 2 inherits both the benefits and drawbacks of the models and data generation techniques. It's noted to benefit from safety measures implemented during training, including the content filter in the Azure OpenAI API. However, a more in-depth study is required to understand the extent of these risks. While the safety training of reinforcement learning from human feedback hasn't been applied to Orca 2 models, Microsoft suggests that custom synthetic data can also educate people on safety and mitigation techniques. To encourage further research into developing and aligning more compact yet powerful language models, Orca 2 is a valuable and cost-effective tool for everyday tasks. However, users should exercise caution due to its potential to generate offensive or unsafe content. Despite its compact size, it surpasses other models of similar size, including the original Orca, across various tasks like language comprehension, multi-step reasoning, figuring out answers that involve more than one step, common sense reasoning, using everyday logic to think things through, arithmetic problem solving, finding solutions to math problems, reading comprehension, understanding and making sense of what you read, summarizing, making information shorter while keeping the main points, groundedness, being practical and realistic in your thinking, honesty, telling the truth and admitting mistakes, and creation and identification of toxic content, making and recognizing harmful material, like hurtful words online, being part of the Llama 2 model family, Orca 2 inherits some of the drawbacks of this model family and other large language models, such as biases originating from the training data. Large language models trained on extensive data may unintentionally perpetuate biases, resulting in unfair or biased outputs. Orca 2 does have limitations. It struggles with contextual understanding, often providing inaccurate or absurd responses. Additionally, its lack of transparency poses challenges in understanding the reasoning behind specific outputs or decisions due to the complexity of its structure. Using large language models comes with risks, including potential harm to content. Users are advised to employ content moderation services provided by organizations and businesses. There's hope for improved rules and guidelines from government and tech leaders regarding content harm harms caused by AI technologies. Caution is essential when relying solely on a language model for critical decisions or information, as it's not always clear how to prevent the generation of fake content. The smaller size of models like Orca 2 may pose challenges in avoiding hallucinations in ungrounded generation use cases. Ongoing research is expected to provide more insights and mitigation strategies in this area. Without proper safeguards, there's a risk of malicious use of these models to produce harmful or disinformation content. Orca 2's performance may be influenced by the tuning data distribution, limiting accuracy in underrepresented subjects like math, coding, and reasoning. The performance of Orca 2 can vary based on system instructions, and the inherent randomness introduced by the model size can lead to unpredictable responses to different instructions. Microsoft has shared both of its new models with the public, inviting more research into creating and testing smaller models that can be as powerful as larger ones. This effort is aimed at providing a practical choice for businesses, especially those with fewer resources, to handle specific tasks without needing a lot of computing power. If you want to access it yourself, you can find the link in the description. AI models always face difficulties, and Orca 2 is no exception. 
The challenge for it is using the knowledge gained from large language models to make smaller ones better. Typically, smaller models haven't shown the same abilities as Orca. Microsoft's research on Orca 2 gives important information on how to make smaller language models think and understand better. Orca 2 does well because it can use different ways of thinking to find the best answers for different tasks. Despite its drawbacks, like other language models and coming from its basic models, it has the potential to get even better. This this improvement could focus on making its thinking abilities, specialization, control, and safety for smaller models even stronger. A crucial method for making improvements involves using carefully selected computer-generated information after the initial training phase. This means the model refines its skills by practicing with specially created data designed to enhance its performance. What are your thoughts on Microsoft's latest model? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments below. If you found this information valuable, please give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more content like this.